watching Sunday Morning Matters on KC24, your local election headquarters. Andrew Jans, Luis Chavez, Jerry Dyer, and Elliot Balch all trying to replace that man right there. The Fresno mayor's race is off and running, and inquiring minds want to know, is name recognition more influential than the campaign message? And how much influence will city council members have on this race? Our panel is back for round two. Jim Veros, Guillermo Moreno, and Oliver Baines. And guys, I just want to start here. As I said, the name recognition here, um, uh, you know, you heard Elliot Balch come into this uh, uh, race just uh, right after Jerry Dyer announces it. So the name recognition, is that bigger than the campaign message? Oliver, <coughs> you're a former city council member. You know all about name recognition. <laughs> well, a little bit. Yeah. So, I mean, how does a guy like Elliot Balch maybe get over this? Well, so... It, it, it is about the campaign message, and mm -hmm. so name name recognition matters. Not a matters. popularity contest. It, it not all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it matters for sure. I mean, we don't want to discount that. Uh, it, it makes people listen to you early on. But if you have a strong campaign campaign message, if you have tapped into the minds and the souls of the electorate, you can win. I mean, so regardless of the name ID, uh, a, a candidate like Elliot Balch has just as good an opportunity as a candidate like Jerry Dyer, Luis Chavez, or Andrew Jans. Guillermo, uh, I know as soon as Jerry Dyer announced, I think a lot of people were thinking, um, and I, I don't want to speak for a lot of voters here, but I think a lot of people, especially what I saw on social media, were saying there, there's no way he loses. Oh, I agree. I mean, uh, name recognition is huge, and I don't know how. Uh, Elliot gets over that. I mean, you, you, people people care about it. It is a popularity contest, and Chief Dyer. Well, what about Luis Chavez and Andrew Jans? Do they have enough name recognition in this one? Well, Andrew Jans does, and only because he's been saying, "I'm not Devin Nunes." Uh, he really doesn't have any strong policy proposals. His rollout was was just a, was just poor. It's all about name recognition, and Chief Dyer's got it, and you know he's going to win. Uh, you've been you, you've seen this fold out a little bit. Uh, Jim, are you thinking that, you know, once Jerry Dyer got into the race, he even had protesters there. Um, that's saying that he's, whether you like him or you don't, he's, he's the guy everybody's looking at. Right. I think you got to take a look at the groups in Fresno and what they're looking for. I think you've got groups that want someone from law enforcement. I think you've got groups there that want a minority in the, in the, in the, uh, in the mayor's office. You've got people that... Uh, uh, really want someone that has city council experience. And I think they want someone that also owns a small business. The only person that fits all four of those categories is Oliver Baines. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I want you to look in the camera and say, I can beat Jerry Dyer, and I got nothing but time to do it. <laughs> no? All right. Um, having said that, no, there it's going to be tough to beat Jerry. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it is. But it's, it's a long campaign season. Um, you never, yeah, listen, he's got, he's got a lot of support, but as you saw at his press conference, you got some folks there that don't like it. And this is the first time Jerry's going to hear the word to his face, I don't like you as yeah. a candidate. When yeah. he's wearing that uniform, there's, a, there's an element of respect. A, when a police yeah. chief is to be respected. But as a candidate, can he morph from police chief to, uh, to mayoral candidate? We'll, well see. He may have to morph quickler, qu more quickly, I should say, to candidate because Miguel Arias wants Chief Dyer to resign immediately, saying that there's a conflict of interest there when you're running a campaign versus uh, also running the police department. Um, Guillermo, you talked to Miguel Arias on your show. Uh, he wants him to resign. Is this the right call? I don't think it is. I don't think he should resign. I don't think he should, you know, take a leave of absence or anything. You know, he's been with the city for 18 years as chief. I mean, mm -hmm. he's done a fantastic job. You know, he knows what's right and what's wrong. You know, Miguel was worried that he's the only guy that can start an investigation. I highly doubt, you know, Chief Dyer's going to start an investigation on a political opponent while correct, he's running. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Didn't he, didn't Miguel Arias kind of compare him to the Diocese of Fresno? He did, yeah. He said, you know, they're, you know, pedophiles and, the di and, and Catholic priests are, you know, they get justice. So he, he did do that. I think that was uh, in poor taste. But listen, you, you have a huge liberal force that really doesn't want Chief Dyer. They want Andrew Jans. And the reality is, Andrew Jans is, is just not electable. Um, you're a former city council member, Oliver. Um, and you and a former police officer. Well, there you go. So And everything See, else. See, I'm telling yeah. you. <laughs> so, um, Miguel Arias coming out pretty quickly and pretty strong against uh, Chief Dyer. How much will city council members have a say and, and influence this race? Uh, uh, to influence the race? Yeah. 
I mean, listen, because city council members the will voters have some are influence. living in their districts. Yeah, city council members yeah. will have some influence. I mean, it, yeah. uh, but not, but not as it's not going to be an outsized influence. I want to be mm -hmm. honest. I was a city council member, and as much as I like to think that everybody listened to me when I was a council member, they didn't. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I mean, they will have some influence, uh, but it, it won't be outsized. The voters are going to take a listen at these candidates for themselves. They are going to make decisions on their own. Jerry Dyer doesn't have to resign uh, at this moment. I, when I actually ran for office, I didn't resign. Uh, when I was a police officer running for city council. Because if that's the case, then Andrew Jans has to quit prosecuting. Well, yeah, it, it's uh, a yeah, and I think Andrew Jans, uh, I, I think people talk about, you know, Jerry Dyer being a, being a death blow to the Jans campaign. I think actually Elliot running has, has caused Jans are, a lot are of you, problems. Are you saying Elliot could be a dark horse? I, I think that when Andrew decided to run, I think he thought that he could be the, hey, the upstart liberal, mm -hmm. I was the person that was involved with Measure P, and, you know, I'm also a DA, so I can, you know, combat, you know have that law enforcement conversation. Well, I'm pretty sure if Elliot's running, he's going to have the support of Ashley Swearingen, and they were the ones that were part of Measure P. So I don't know how Andrew Jans runs on that platform. And now with the chief running, he really can't be the law enforcement guy. So I don't know what kind of platform Jans is going to run. I think Elliot causes more problems from Andrew than Jerry does. Uh, go ahead. I think Elliot just guaranteed that Chief Dyer wins this in round one. I mean, that's the reality. Chief, you know, Chief Dyer, they're going to split the same vote with uh, Luis Chavez. Mm -hmm. They're all going after the same voter. So, you know, Chief Dyer, you know. You, you but, but this, we haven't, you know, there's four candidates, but why do I get the feeling there's going to be six, seven, eight, maybe nine? Well, we Oliver, that, well, I mean, obviously, <laughs> yeah. Jim just threw me in the race. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think we're done yet. But, you, yeah. but, you know, I, I think I think it was... Have you filed your paperwork? Yeah. Yeah. He'll, he'll do it late. That's right. He'll do it late. I have a special yeah, yeah. announcement that I make on this show in about uh, 30 seconds. Okay. But, um, you know, I, I think something that's overlooked, I mean, we spend a lot of time putting candidates in the categories, but mm -hmm. the candidates have to speak to the electorate. And the candidate is going to break out while law enforcement is important and that background is important, being a DA is important, important and what have you. The candidate that starts talking about Fresno and the needs of our citizens, you know, moving our community out of poverty, right? Mm -hmm. uh, moving our community into the 21st century uh, and really uh, showing pride in Fresno is going to break through. Uh, I think a, a candidate that brings the community together, brings our city together, as opposed to being divisive, is going to have much yeah. more breakthrough. And we talk about a lot of divisiveness, if you will. But, I, you know, Jerry Dyer says, and, and it, the slogan's pretty good, uh, one vision, one Fresno, um, and, and that could be resonating. I haven't heard too many other big slogans that maybe can catch on. But the protesters, the naysayers out there, it's could the, could he could he t change their mind? It's the same band of protesters. They show up to the immigration, they show up to the parks thing, anything that's a progressive liberal cause, they show up. It's the same people. So it's not like these new protesters that just really hate Jerry Dyer. It's the same band of uh, amigos. Amigos. Uh, well, <laughs> it anyway, really is. You amigos have done a fine job. Uh, you ran for mayor? Oh! Yes! I was going to say something funny, but I, I, it, 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 that's left. not a no. That's not a no. No, I'm not <laughs> running for mayor. How about that? Are you this sure? Time. Yes, I'm, I'm this time. You know, I, I am enjoying my life right now, so no, I'm not okay. going to run for mayor. Lies. <laughs> right. Guys, thank you so much. We appreciate the time. Have a little humor on the show. Coming up.